things are for whoever comes, okay? I, again, I don't have a set layout on paper or anything like that. This is what we're gonna do the first day. This is what we're gonna do the second day. It ain't like that. There's complete and utterly freedom to switch up, do whatever we wanna do on these days that we're here, whatever the people are struggling with. That's my goal. That's what I want to help. That's the whole purpose of this, just to make these guys better installers, feel better about themselves, step out of their comfort zone. Some of them uh, are not comfortable with pattern carpets. They try to shut away from it. So we're working on pattern carpets. Today we're gonna to be stretching pattern carpets, show them how to stretch it in, keep it aligned and everything while they're stretching in. Yesterday we was, uh, again, pattern elongation, working on all that kind of stuff making these guys better at their craft so that they feel better, they're not scared to take on these jobs, and they can ultimately, in the long run, demand more money and get what they're worth. That's the plan, raising them up. So this is a nice quality 70 ounce carpet, real nice and thick here. Uh, yesterday, we had the guys make a couple of head seams in here. A head seam somewhere over here, a head seam somewhere over here, and then a long seam, and then they stretched it all in, make it nice and tight everywhere. Some guys have problems with uh, working with this high pile, thick pile carpet, such as a 60, 70, 80 ounce carpet. So we worked on this for a little bit yesterday. So this whole thing right here with uh, seaming these pieces together and stretching it and all that stuff is specifically uh on the fly there the guy says sometimes we have problems stretching or making seams and then when you stretch them in the seams show up worse than they do so that's what prompted us just to make a couple three seams right here stretch it in completely go over everything that's going on with it while it's been stretched and everything like that these orcon books right here we got some of these last year from orcon before they sold over it got just it's actually a, a talks about all their products and for sale the products for sale and stuff like that but what is really nice about this and why i give them out is because of this right here two pages on all of their tapes telling which tape is best for which carpet, which tape they recommend for this carpet, whether it be a K20, a X, uh, X50, or whatever, all of them, K40. I mean, it tells good, better, best. Again, this other page, which is best for which carpets, for instance, right here, the Oricon. Uh, double hot melt adhesive tape and pressure sensitive tape on the bottom for jute and action back carpet both. So all of these will tell what they're for, what they're recommended for. So this is really good information. A lot of, a lot of people are curious, what, what uh, tape should I use for this? Which is best for that? Well, this pamphlet right here but Oricon has all that information. That's why I like to have that and make it accessible to the guys that come. We went through our book yesterday. This is a whole bunch of stuff about uh, just carpet in general, carpet backings, uh, seam preparation and all of that kind of stuff. I mean, there's a whole bunch on carpet backings and such, uh, power stretching, diagrams lot of this i'll prepare one of these for each one of the guys that come uh, a lot of information about tax strip where it should be placed the different kinds of tax strip pattern pattern carpet skews how to check for them we actually done a live demo on that uh, bow width pattern elongation we did a live demo on this and how to correct it we're fixing to now today we're going to do uh, a demo on this we're actually going to cut a carpet and then cut one crooked and then have one row cut and put it together and stretch it in with a big bow in it to show how to correct all of that stuff uh, edge deviation that'll be basically the same thing 
what we're going over with the bow width, how to correct the edges and everything whenever you're stretching it in and seaming it. And then we've got a whole bunch of information here about seam peaking, uh, stuff from Shaw website, all this other stuff is from the CRR website. It's all free stuff, but you just got to do the research to dig it up and find it. So I've spent hours in putting these pamphlets together, just a bunch of useful information I've got there from the CRI website. And the paperwork that was from Shaw right here is on the carpet, the pet proof, the blue plastic carpet is what this is all about because a lot of people have questions about that. So I have looked that up and got this information directly from the website talking about how to install it, how to seam it, and all of that stuff per the manufacturer's recommendations. So we have all that stuff. All of this is not theories. It is proven methods. You see right here? Proven information for carpet installation. The proper research and time invested in putting those together just makes for a great little packet. Yesterday, uh, I had about a four foot wide piece of this pattern pin dot carpet. And this is the stuff that's always hard to get your seams to match up nicely. It always has pattern elongation or something in it. So I split the piece right down the middle. You can see here, one side of it. I stretched in, left this completely loose. I put a, about a two inch stretch on this piece here, which caused caused a massive pattern elongation. Then I laid this piece down just beside it with no stretch on it and I showed the men how to make this line up with this two inch pattern elongation on this piece here. Showed them how to match it up, get it to stick and all that stuff. You can see I had a spot weld here. What's that spot weld? I, I zapped it with my uh, seamer down right here zapped it down here just to get it to match up and then I was going to proceed to make my seam just showing them how to align all that stuff back up and get it correct for pattern elongation so we had a real experience here not just talking about it we actually done it and showed them how to do it so that was really helpful for the guys and also a super cheap carpet like this light dark light dark rose and the super cheapness where the pile has got, they got real big gauges in the, in the rows. The, the rows are really spaced. People have, they was having issues with this. So we did a whole bunch of cross seams and head seams in this, just giving them a little extra inside knowledge on that. And also you can see here, we worked on this little pin dot pattern. The guy specifically has issues with this. He even brought a piece just in case I didn't have some, but had plenty of this, so we worked on this and got it real comfortable with making cross seams and head seams in this, proper sealing techniques and all of that. All right, final day here. This is day number three of the training, the course, the teaching, whatever you want to call it. Uh, we got the guys set up yesterday. They did some beautiful work on these steps. They installed a waterfall style. Today we got a setup. They're gonna learn how to do these bull nose which is a little different on making the cuts right around here and all that stuff. So that portion of it's different. So we're going to be doing uh, bullnose, Hollywood, cap and band, whatever you want to call it. We're going to be doing pattern carpet on steps. Talk about how to keep it all aligned. We're going to show them how to keep it all aligned going up. Just tips and tricks about how to keep all that pretty. 